What is happening guys? Welcome back. Right, before we get going on the video, this video was filmed in September 2021 when the government announced that they were going to be changing the trailer laws in the United Kingdom. Uh, they then decided, after I'd filmed the video, that they were going to wait a bit and weren't really sure whether they were actually going to or not. But today, as I'm sat here editing this video, they have now changed the law. So, let's get on with this video. So, continuing along with the theme of videos that we've been doing recently of something a little bit different. So, some of you will know, some of you won't know, that the government in the UK are changing the law, meaning that you can now tow a trailer on a normal car license, whereas before it, it was what everyone referred to as granddad rights. So you had to have passed your test before a date, I think it was April, something like that, 1997, to be able to tow a trailer up to three and a half tonne. That's all changing now. Um, as it stands at the moment, you can only tow a trailer up to 750 kilo total trailer with a three and a half ton train weight, but you can no longer take a trailer test as of the 20th of September, 2021. And later in the year, they've said autumn, which we're technically now in, it will be announced that you can legally tow a trailer up to three and a half ton on a standard car license. So, me and the wife have been talking for years and years and years about doing a trailer test, doing a trailer test, things like that. I've now got a track car, hashtag race car, and if I'm going to be travelling, I've got a plan of travelling to some most tracks around the UK. And I don't want to really drive in there, break it, and then have to try and get home. So I need to get a car trailer. To get a car trailer, we need a tow bar. The wife's also got horses and has got a horse box, so it makes sense for her to be able to drag that around as well and go to events and things with her horse. So this morning's video, we're in the car on our way down to Bermick Motor Accessories in Leicester to go and see my mate Craig to get a tow bar fitted to the wife's Discovery Sport so that we can both tow trailers to have even more fun in life. So I'll cruise down and you'll see us when we get there. Here we are, made it down to Bermick in Leicester. Now these guys are known for trailer parts, tow bars, roof boxes, roof rails, things of that nature. Now, Craig has got rather a cold, so I don't really want to be on camera. Um, and he's only just acquired the business a few months ago. So it is, he's told me to say, it is a little bit of a mess in there, but he's in the process of changing things about, moving things and sort of streamlining the showroom so it's actually got a bit of a nice showroom but i'm going to take you for a quick walk around show you the sort of stuff that they've got and if you need any trailer or roof bar or roof box parts hit up Bermit. so nice little trade counter area a few consumable units down here We've got wiper blades bike racks these have been absolutely crazy this year with everyone staycationing if you like wheel locks and then coming through here door opens is where all the goodness is so yeah more bike racks from the back of your car roof boxes we've got more roof bars as well and then if you need them got trailer spares trailer parts the lights and all sorts of stuff like that a few bits of kit and then through there is the workshop where the car is so yeah like i say he's recently quite it he wanted me to be specific to say that it's a bit of a mess but he is trying to sort it out and they are as they're absolutely stacked out at the minute. Um, but yeah, it's a work in progress and it's gonna be a cool showroom. Yeah, if you need anything to do with trailers, roof bars, roof boxes or anything like that, hit them up. I'll put all of their social medias and contact details in the description. There's the car, Craig's getting on. So let's set the camera up and get the tow bar fitted to the car. So, 
back bumper is off. Many, many bolts that are hiding in many, many places. That's off. All the new bumper stuff, uh, tow bar stuff is down here. Bolts are all laid out nicely. We have got to make a bit of a cut in this lower panel. Luckily, it is just a panel. So if the tow bar ever came off for any reason, I just buy a new panel, put a new panel on the car. But rear bumper, iron, whatever it is, off. New one on. And then, who knows? I don't, but I'm sure Craig does. bumper bar replaced so you've got some nice big strengthening bars that go all the way in and have got 1007 bolts down either side here that hold see them that hold it in to the chassis new bars on and bolts on at the back as well all of this is on that the ball will go on to and obviously all your electrics go to here and then the question Josh said was about the wiring it's not like old school where you scotch block everything you get an actual loom it's got a proper plug on it and also got the grommet on it that goes through the grommet in the floor all nicely and there's a plug in the car that it plugs into so there's no cutting and splicing wires it literally plug and plays in and you've even got the grommet if it comes out there you go even got the grommet to get the wiring out which is pretty cool you can tell that i've not done anything like this for a very 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 long time and it's all a proper job Right, we'll get this wiring loom in, bang the bumper back on, make a little choice cut, and that should be about job done. So we've just offered the back bumper on, and we need to cut and trim a little bit of the bumper around here, which is what Craig's just about to do now. Well, I don't think I turned the camera on, but there's the back bumper mounted back on. Last couple of screws going in. And the last thing we've got to do now is this trim piece goes on the bumper here. We've got to cut it around this to sit neatly in there, which you comes in the instructions and tells you what to do. We're going to use them as a rough guide and we're going to try and get it a bit tighter just so it looks a little bit neater than having a real big gap cut out all the way around it. But I'm sure is more than capable of making it look neat. But for me, I'd just go drilling and cutting holes in it, but yeah, I have faith it will look neat. And there we go. Tow bar is fitted and on. Looks like a tow bar fitted to a car. Now I imagine I'm gonna get questions and comments saying, why have you gone for that tow bar? Why have you not gone for a swan neck removable tow bar? And things like that. We've gone for a fixed tow bar because I just, there's something about the removable ones that just doesn't sit right with us. We've got, um, we're obviously towing a horse with it and the small little pin that holds them in position. I just, I'm not, comp I just, yeah. I, I'll sleep better with this one. It's a mechanical fix and it's bolted on and it's, yeah, it's mechanical fixing. I just feel better for it. Yes, it doesn't look as nice on the car, but at the end of the day, it's a functional item and it's gonna do what we need it to do, which will enable us to go and have even more fun. But a massive, massive thank you to Craig from Bermic Motor Accessories in Leicester for hooking us up with the tow bar on the car. If you need anything trailer they've got look at them they've got them everywhere they've got trailers everywhere they've got roof bars tow bars all sorts of things hit them up i'll put all of the links to all of their socials in the description if you need anything drop them a line or drop them a call and i'm sure they can help you out but guys we should leave that one there then until next time enjoy <laughs>